When the Ohio State football team practices, there's a subtle difference between the helmets the veterans and the freshmen wear. Until they've earned it, first-year players have a black stripe down the center of their helmets. At some point, Urban Meyer will decide they've shown enough to have that black stripe removed. It's an important rite of passage. And for Fort Wayne's Austin Mack, that rite of passage was today, as the early enrollee at wide receiver had his black stripe removed after the seventh practice of the spring, the first of this year's freshmen to earn the distinction. Earlier this week, Ohio State announced renovation plans for Ohio Stadium beginning in 2017. That will require a little more effort than simply removing a sticker. Uh, shoes is as fine a facility as there is, and I think, you know, I wasn't here when they made the renovation, but obviously they did a wonderful job. That renovation in 1999-2000 added 75 years to the life of Ohio Stadium. And while there have been some minor tweaks since then, including adding 2,600 seats to the South Stands, the athletic department is proposing a four-year, $42 million renovation project to restore and recoat the 94-year-old concrete on C deck, upgrade power by adding three transformers, renovate B deck along with the premium seating area by consolidating the university suite and adding 35 loge boxes and 12 luxury suites. For Gene Smith, it comes down to enhancing the fan experience and ensuring the safety of the shoe. We knew we had to get some of this done in order to avoid future erosion of the concrete on sea deck. So this concrete repair and waterproofing that we'll do will be significant to the long-term health of our stadium. If you ever spend the time walking around sea deck, uh, you see that the integrity in, in the concrete there is challenged in a lot of different spots. So many of you have traveled around the country and been in stadiums and you looked up when you're walking around and, and you see where concrete has, has been challenged. And so we want to we want to get to a spot where we don't have that. Uh, this is a response to uh, concerns that people have shared over the years. And there's places where people can't see TVs, can't see the scoreboard. So we're trying to address that issue. The sound system is muted in certain areas. We're trying to sound, figure, figure that out. So. Yeah, we feel very comfortable we're going to solve a lot of those issues. Uh, the improved ex fan experience will ex result in removal of some seats, primarily in parts of BDEC, where current view is less than ideal. We have a number of obstructed view seats there. So our overall seating capacity will remain higher than it was in 2014. And while the loss of seats means Ohio State will not be able to lead the nation in attendance like it did in 2014, the university is comfortable with that. You know, we're, we're very careful uh, with making sure that we, whatever we do, uh, aesthetically fits uh, what we have in place. Uh, the renovation that was done prior to my arrival of Don Packer and his team, uh, marvelous job. And we want to keep the integrity of that. Uh, so we intend to just kind of stay in this area. You know, at some point in time, you may do something different with loges in a different area based upon what we learn. Uh, but that's not in our plans right now. This is part of a plan we discussed prior to putting in the 2,600 seats. So at one point during 14, after the 14 season, we're up to 104,000. We knew if we do this plan, we'd go back down to 102. And we're comfortable with that because that's what we were before. So um, I'm okay with where we are. As for the future, Gene Smith doesn't envision the Buckeyes ever playing a home game anywhere other than the shoe and can't ever see it being named anything other than Ohio Stadium. Uh, but no, I, you know, I don't, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Uh, I don't see someone coming forward with the type of number that would make me even think about it. So uh, we have a brand uh, that's Ohio Stadium. Uh, it's owned by the people. You go, you guys know the history. You go back to the fundraising in 88 counties, and so I have a hard time getting there, uh, especially because we've been blessed. They have the great support of Buckeye Nation through ticket sales and, and Buckeye Club membership and donations to our other facilities and, and our TV contract and all of our partners that we have in place. I don't see us in a spot where we need to do that uh, unless we needed to do it for uh, the educational mission of the institution around scholarships for students and affordability, things of that nature. But for the athletic department, I don't think we need to make that sacrifice. The proposal is pending Board of Trustees approval next week. In Columbus, Mark Kuntz, Sports Report.